Hello, here is BB Walker. Today we will be making some stuff with guitars, Zoom GX3, and in this Kali LP6 studio monitor. We will be modeling sound using this multi effects processor and looper. Uh, if you have uh, familiar with my channel, you probably have seen uh, some videos about this. Uh, um, in this device, I mean this Zoom, uh, which I have uh, replaced uh, after my code, Marshall Code uh, 25, because uh, Marshall Code 25 uh, haven't uh, some features that I required. I mean, the the most important thing was the looper, actually and uh, the stereo output uh, was so there was some difficult with recording on multi-track but today uh, I am uh, familiar with the, the device a little bit longer than in the first video about zoom uh, so I am able to show you some tips some tricks about sound modeling how to create patches um, because, of course, there is some patches inside, um, but I think every guitarist, every producer uh, should try to, to make something, uh, something unique, something uh, that more fits your needs, uh, your expectation, and so on. Uh, so I decided to make this video. Uh, there will be a lot of examples and life work. Actually, it's not prepared. Uh, so we will be making completely new patches. And there will be also patches, uh, distorted patches and clean patches. And I don't know how the time uh, we get, uh, but we will try to do uh, both. Um, okay, so stop talking. Uh, let's start. I assume that you are familiar with the basic operation of the Zoom GX 3N. So we will start from completely empty patch somewhere out of my other uh, other patches. So it's um, 115. Sorry, I need to set the camera exactly where it should be. Uh, so enter the editing mode and we get this completely straight line, uh, which means there is no um, no effects at the beginning at all so you get completely clean guitar uh, so I will take my guitar to make some samples <clears throat> and we will be starting doing something and we will take review of this um, different things that you have here and what could you attach to the line so basically if you start from this line using the type up and down you are switching the, uh, the the strong boxes, the effects that you have here, and there is a the, there is only one big set of these effects. So if you start going up, you will start from compressors. I hope it's seen. Maybe I will try to do something with this with this. Um, Okay, now it's it's better for me, I think. Lock the he enabled the the light. Okay, so we we start from compressors from the section dynamics. Uh, what is compressors? Compressors actually affects the sound. And the levels of the sound. So if you want to articulate something when you are only a little bit strumming the strings and when you hit hard uh, and you want to um, make this this level equal so you will be able to play very gentle and it will be loud and if you strum very hard it will be a little bit uh, so you so you can change the, this this um, this dynamics of the sound. I mean, you actually doing a compressor, and these whole sections of the uh, uh, different compressors are here: rack compressor, of 
course, it's difficult to see the effects on the not distorted sound because if you use distortion, you actually give a more of gain to power and then you use the compressor. So uh, let's go and check other stuff. We get the compressor sections, a lot of compressors. Limiter 70, uh, 76 filters. Auto wah wah. But at the beginning, I would like to go through this, this equalizer so they could change the, the, the frequencies, low frequency go up or middle, bass, high frequencies go. So you could do a lot of things with the sound. But let's start with the drives. So I assume that we want to make some nice distorted sound. This is drive, TS drive. You could give more gain, but... Boost, enable. A little bit too noisy. You get the overall volume of the effect. Doesn't sound really cool. Maybe try something else. But at the beginning, I would like to find nice distorted sound. And my school, my uh, solution how to achieve nice sound. First, I would like to find the first drive. Uh, so. RC boost drive of course give you a lot of distortion so it it Dynamic drive. Dynamic drive. Red crunch. Of course, some of them are the physical strum boxes, some of them are a part of known. Uh, I like this one, Metal Ward. So, so some of them are part of bigger... Um, of bigger devices. Like combo amplifiers and so on. bit too HD thrill okay I think we we, we stop at this one now we are going to sections where there are also drives but most complex I mean then they they have a built-in compressor so this is uh, the simulation of uh, bigger uh, devices um, I mean combos but um, I would prefer to start with something something simple for the demonstration purposes, so so let's uh, stick a little bit with this drive called H G H G whatever, 
and I'm using the studio monitor because um, the, the, um, the speakers uh, where I used the Marshall code was completely uh, very high uh, low, uh, very high highs, the mids were cut, so it was really difficult to, to model any sound because if I recorded some samples of this guitar and put it in the computer and on other speakers completely different sound so I need to have this monitor to to have this nice I mean flat frequency response because the basics of the using the monitor studio monitor is to have this ba this flat line of the responses so the mid the low the highs are in the same levels I think it's too too much gain but we could fix it okay so if you have a drive and and you want to go further what do you need else in a nice I mean I would like to make some patch for metal hard very distorted sound to sound cool and uh, not very sharp uh, this one is too sharp for me I mean I would like to make some blending so if you want to make some blending and I also want to use compressor because if I strum uh, very light the first of the second string I would like to have this nice response okay so um, let's try add another thing to this chain and now it will be the compressor and you will hear the difference this compressor it's called the compressor standard get the ratio 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 it means if you reach the threshold it uh, multiplies the sound by the ratio attack means uh, the curve of attack more it, 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 it. so it's basically like other compressor in a mixer if you are working with amps like to add the compressor after the drive why uh, because the distorted sound I would like to have nice on lows but if you hit hard I don't want to you know blow up the speakers and it's be completely so I, I want to have some flat characteristic I mean if you have low signal I would like so have this is slow attack compressor you will feel the difference it, it if so it actually amplifies the sound a little bit after I stream here and it's amplifies la later noise gate here is a noise gate and the noise gate should be um, after the drive or before the drive and it actually cuts the sound if it doesn't reach the uh, the selected of the threshold level so it's good to cut the noise if you're not using the guitar there will be no feedbacks and other different sounds sometimes you want to leave it for making nice expression and sound but if you use the uh, the high threshold noise gate as you can see now I'm not touching the guitar and there is no completely no sound it cuts everything uh, so this is uh, actually mm, the purpose of noise gate noise gate is, is also in the dynamics because it actually affects the dynamics it's a filter so be below the threshold of the volume of the sound it will be cut it off so this is actually how the noise gate works <laughs> Let's take a look about this one. It's a limited 76. And then I like it because it have a nice interesting setup. I mean, for the input uh, signal, you are you know, um, setting low or high. So if you find that some threshold, it could compress or expand the sound. And you get 
uh, one, 4 to 1 or 20 to 1. This is the, the, the ratio of the compressor. So, if you set the ratio, for example, 8 to 1, and the output is the level input and output, and you get the output very high, the very light sound will be articulated more. Now I'm touching very light the string. And as you can hear, it's a really massive sound. But if I, had uh, if I hit very hard now, it actually doesn't sound very, very hard. So it is very nice. I like this limiter. Uh, I have tried many of this compressor and this one I think is very uh, logic in applying. So uh, you big, you do the big ratio. And it means that the sound below the threshold of the input will be uh, gain, will be uh, amplified 20 times. So it's very the dynamic of the sound. If it if it not hits, it will be very 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 loud. And the output it's actually the the overall output of the power uh, ending. You know. Uh, if you lower the output, of course, then every signal will be. And as you can hear now, with very light trimming, I get this very uh, hard sound. I mean, it's it's here. It doesn't gone. Uh, you can feel it. This dynamic is, is really cool. Uh, now I have 40, 40 at the input and 35 at the output with the ratio 20 to 1. If I switch the ratio to 4 to 1, this amplifier will be will be also higher in four four times than the upper threshold, but um, not such big. I mean, uh, let's leave it now on uh, twen uh, 12 to 1. So you have these dynamics under your hands. I mean, a lot of depends on how you strum the, 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 the strings. Have this articulation it's very cool uh, actually even if you don't have very expensive uh, pickups you can make magic on this because they respond at very low levels I, I hope I hope you, 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 you can hear the difference now so this compressor with the drive and actually it's okay I mean the dynamics is, is okay for me now we can go further so what is the next thing in very nice metal distorted sound modeling process I think the next thing will be finding the speakers the speaker that actually affects your sound and it models the the speakers analog speakers used with cabinets or combos or not combos with microphone not microphone there's a lot of history uh, and i'm not an expert in the history of this amplifiers this very known companies and so on but the thing that really affects the sound is this speaker and now we go through the drum compressors, then dr the filters, drives, and let's go to speakers. The speakers start. Sorry for this. Uh, for this uh, feedback. Okay. Uh, the reason of this feedback is because we have gain here, we had gain here. I am very close, really close with the guitar to the, uh, to the speakers. And 
now I have set this uh, for um, M as for <laughs> Speaker emulation. So I I could do something here. I could enable the microphone emulation, and it completely blends the sound. There is here the difference. Here the sound is very aggressive with a lot of highs, and if you enable it. It completely blends the sound. Let's try another speaker. Enable this mic. I literally love it. It's, it's, it's so nice. There's a lot of low. Nice blend. I think lows are too high. I mean, I go down with uh, bass and. All right. to feeling it's right it's a little bit too high with this cutting let's give more to high so the speakers the cabinet speaker with this mic enabled Eighty thirty, everything is seen. Okay. Of course, at the end of the video, I will put a link in the description to download this patch if we finish this work. Uh, okay, so uh, let's take a look further. I really start to like it. Let's hear this this this, uh, this dynamic change. I mean, light intro. And you are in in the level. I mean, you feel good. I switched the position of the guitar to humbucker. And now it's even more tasty and, and spicy. Distortion, we got dynamics change by this limiter, LM limiter, I think this, the shortcut is 76, with ratio 20, 12 to 1, uh, and I am very excited with the sound. The only thing I need to the full happiness is the reverb, or echo, or delay, or maybe this whole nice uh, sound so let's go further we got all three uh, windows um, used so we use scroll to go go a little bit when we get another place to put some effects and now we go to find uh, something uh, with delay or something so we go at the beginning now our compressors the dynamics and there are equalizers Filters, drives, 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 combo, amplifiers, column speakers. Let's go further. Of course, this whole process could be done in computer, but uh, with computer, you click, 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 
and you need always to check so I would like to experiment here and now we had modifiers so that, for example tremolo so it's a vi vibrating the output you get you get uh, lower not, get uh, this rate I'm in the frequency very fast and so on so on I think it's good but uh, not exactly in our this is classic chorus chorus definitely two Horus is not something that I really like with the distorted sound. I prefer uh, something else. So Tremolo Horus Echo. Sorry, it's a stereo Horus. Phaser. Yeah, Phaser is really cool, but... Uh, for crazy, I don't know, flanger. Flanger is a, I think it matches this metal sound. Uh, the vibrato, another effect, vibrato. So they're modulator. Uh, not modifiers, sorry, they're modulators, so the modeling for the uh, sinusoid sound and give you some... The tune add some false harmonics to the sound and it's, it sounds some tastier. Very interesting... Uh, very interesting uh, effect. Uh, you, you can, of course, uh, add it into the chain uh, and enable disable when you when you actually need so uh, let's uh, let's leave this the tune for a little bit and go for her because we have up to seven effects in the chain if the power of the processor so now I leave it but disable it by pressing enable disable and of course during the play you, with one strump you can you can activate or disable and now I'm starting browsing uh, effects uh, from the second order. I mean, there are pedals, echoes, uh, any... <laughs> effects added to uh, the pedals, volume, gate, reverb, chamber. Uh, but I would like to enter, yeah, into reverb. So let's go here because we are... Closing to the end of the list. Let's go to uh, the, the tune. Here is the tune. So uh, this is where we end. And let's go. We got pitch shifting. Flangers. Slicers which cut the sound into pieces. Clone Horus. Super Horus. Stone Fraser, they're all in the modulation section. Wow. Band Horus, really interesting. Fraser. Cosmic Sound, Dual Fraser, Bomber, SFX, now then another section SFX. And we got the delays. Delays, of course. I mean, everybody know what is delay. And of course, in milliseconds, you could set up the length of the delay. You can echo. Echo, echo, echo. You can also, in milliseconds, set up the mix and the feedback. So very nice typed tape echo tape, so recording tape. 
reverse delay so it actually do the delay but in reverse as you can hear now some crazy stuff mode delay hold delay all are uh, in time uh, expanded so the bpm if you want to match the time into bpm you need to recalculate the the, the do some math so actually 112 uh, 120 bpm is 120 bits per uh, 60 seconds which means about 220 milliseconds to match the bam 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 tempo uh, but i'm looking for something out of pan delay very cosmic delays first delay tape echoes ice delay slow attack echoes echo reverbs room hall hd hall so we leave the echoes Also nice. 